I'm gonna do my glueless test where I push it underneath so you guys can see that it is fully glueless and then lift it up and put it right back down. I think this is one of the best glueless wigs that I've done. Scratch next day. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Kiana Marie and I am back. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not new here, then welcome back. Today we have a wig from the company Soul Lady Hair. Now, I've never worked with them before, so this is my first experience with this company. They sent me a lovely 12-inch glueless bob wig. Now, I love me a bob. Y'all know I love me a bob, especially for summer. The wig came in this cute little tote bag, and the bag had these pretty designs on it. So here's what the wig looks like. It already came pre-parted as a side part it is 12 inches it is a 5x5 lace closure so I decided I was just gonna keep it as a side part since that is what it came with and it also came with these cute um skin adjustments if you are a person who struggles with the screen door effect on lace wigs these stickers are perfect for you you can just cut them and put them right under your lace so yeah I didn't need them because the wig blended perfectly but if you want to use them you definitely can Right here, I'm taking the wig out and I'm just getting ready to bleach it. I did bleach the wig and I did pluck the hair. I think that bleaching your wigs is a perfect way to tell if the hair is good quality or not. If those knots bleach, then you already know what's up. So here we have the elastic band at the back. That helps in the glueless process. The hairline was very full, so I did have to go in and pluck it, but that part was already like pre-parted out, so I did end up keeping that part. Now this is what the hair looks like after I bleached it, and now I'm going to get into plucking. I don't really have a specific plucking method. I kind of tried something new and it failed. It didn't fail, but I didn't get the results that I wanted, if that makes sense. So I was trying the pluck and skip method. Now, I did it in a different way. I was kind of just like doing it wherever and I wasn't really spacing out my sections. And I feel like that led to my plucking being very inconsistent because it just didn't work out the way that it was supposed to. So here I'm brushing through it and I repeated the process about six times going back. Would I do this process again? No, but because I plan to do a side part, it didn't really show that much. If I plan to do a middle part, you guys would definitely see those errors. So yeah, I'm not doing this method again. I'm gonna stick to the regular pluck and skip method that I try to do or if I try something else, it just won't be this because this wasn't, the results just were not consistent. I don't know what I was doing. I was just plucking anywhere I saw and I wasn't really measuring it out. So it did not work out well for me. I think I just thinned the hair instead of actually plucking it and making a nice hairline. It's so therapeutic to just watch the hair fall out. Well, not fall out. Watch me comb the hair out and like the um, sections that I plucked. I'm really just doing whatever at this point. Now, because I had a side part, like I said, I can get away with all of the stuff I did. If I was doing a middle part, I would have definitely not been able to get away with this. So I was basically just thinning the hair out since I was doing a deep side part. So the front of my hairline wasn't really going to matter much because it was going to be covered by... Um, that part that was gonna come down over my face. So after I did that one side, I didn't feel the need to show the other side. This is what it looked like. It was, it showed that the hair got thinned out just a little bit. It wasn't as full at the front, which was perfect for my deep side. And I was doing the part on that side, so that saved me a whole bunch of time too. So here is what the side part looked like after I parted it out. I am just spraying my Fantasia heat protectant spray on there, and then I am just gonna hot comb that. After doing the part, you can see the effects of what I plucked way, way better than before. And I'm just basically just flattening down all of the sides until I feel like my part is secure. And then I parted out a front section because I kind of wanted to do that little fluffy um, side part edge. So I cut it and I'm just going to take my mini curling iron. I make sure to heat it up. I made sure I heated that up and then I'm flipping it over and just doing a very tight curl. This is what it looks like after. And then I'm going to put some of my B&B coconut curl mousse on there and I'm just going to try to swoop that back into the hair. Now it didn't look proper when it was on the mannequin. I don't know why but then once it dried down it was very fluffy just the way that I had wanted it.
first time I tried it, I literally flattened the hair out before I could do it. So here is me just recurling it again. I'm flipping it over, doing a very tight curl. Now this one, it is done a little bit to my liking. I'm going to use spritz this time because the mousse just got rid of everything that I wanted curled. Like every single thing, it just got rid of it. The spritz worked a little bit better and I was able to comb through it afterwards. So when I was done, this is what the wig was looking like. It looks really molded, really nice. I could have did a better job, but I was in a rush. When it came to that little edge, I was trying to get it done as soon as possible. But for a deep side part, this definitely did not look bad. I was very impressed. Knots bleach perfectly. You don't see a single knot. So here I'm just taking some of my cream contour palette. And I'm mixing those two darkest shades. And I'm just putting them on the hairline and that part of the wig because that is what's on the color of my forehead when I did my makeup and I wanted it to match perfectly since it is a clueless wig. Now remember that the wig has an elastic band at the back that is what's kind of holding it in place for me as I pull it down. It is wavy because you know I didn't blow dry it after I washed it. I literally just let it air dry and then started doing my customization. So it does look a little bit wavy at the top. Don't mind that. I'm gonna hot comb it out, but so far I'm just adjusting it to make sure that side part is where I want it to be. Since this is a five by five, and I kind of want it a little bit more to the side to give that deep side part effect. <laughs> When I cut the lace, there was no like hassle or technique. That little bump at the edge of the closures, what I do to make sure that blends, since it is very thick and very white, I literally just go in with my like deepest contour shade and I just spread it all over there so that way you can't even see it. It just looks like it's a part of the hair. But I cut in a zigzag motion. I made sure to cut underneath my edges just to make sure that I did not end up ruining those edges. Now it does look a little bit weird because I had to push them back and out of place. But I'm just gonna take the brush that I was using to contour and put that on there and that literally got rid of it. Like you can't see that white cast anymore. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side where that bump is. And after I did those two, it literally looked perfect. All I had to do was adjust the wig. And now we're gonna get ready to flat iron there. I'm spraying my heat protectant all over the hair just to make sure it really gets coated. I'm not doing too much though. Since it is an oil, I try to make sure I don't saturate the hair with it because then it'll end up like kind of stringy and not really flowy how I want it to. And I want this bob to have some movement. Now one side was longer than the other, so I did end up snipping off a little bit. Just because I put my part on the opposite side as a lot of people do. So when it came with that part, I was like, you know what, let me just cut it a little bit more to my liking. So that way I could have the bob layered exactly how I want it to. And I'm taking my hot comb and just flattening down those little lumpy parts that you see right here. And yeah, I know the back looked crazy and that little edge is sticking out. I cut that off and I made sure to flat iron the hair all throughout so everything would look great. And that is it for the customization. Now, all I did was just move it to the front and we are done with that wig. Okay, so this is the wig. As you guys can see, I barely did anything. Now, customizing it beforehand did help. I decided to do that side part just because, um, one, I wanted to try the fluffy baby hairs. I've never tried that before. And then two, because the wig did come with a natural side part. Don't mind me fixing my eyelash. The wig did come with a natural side part, so I was trying to make sure I kept that, like, how it was supposed to be. I do like the fact that it came pre-layered. It made it very easy for me to just customize this my head shape. It frames my face pretty well. The hair is super soft. Only thing I used is the Fantasia Heat Protectant Spray. And then of course, I'm gonna do my glueless test. Where my, where's my rat tail I'm gonna do my glueless test where I push it underneath so you guys can see that it is fully glueless and then lift it up and put it right back down. I think this is one of the best glueless wigs that I've done. Like in total this one looks so sophisticated and like classy you can make it a middle part if you want i just chose to do a side part because i've never done like a side part glueless with straight hair so yeah this is from the company soul lady hair now i've never worked with them before but they definitely exceeded my expectations the hair bleached pretty well i only bleached it for i bleached it for 40 minutes because i accidentally fell asleep Knots didn't um, over bleach, there was no excess, you know, shedding. When I plugged, I think I over plugged this part right here, but it does look pretty natural. As you see, it is a perfect blend with my skin tone. It just looks really cute. I like the wig. I do feel like you can do a lot more with this wig since it is a five by five, because I was able to do that deep side part. So if you wanna do a middle part, you can go ahead. I only did this because it came as a side part. This wig is 12 inches. I think it's either between 150 or 180% density. 
And yeah, it comes pre-layered, it's pre-cut. I only snipped those ends because they were a little bit long for my liking. And I have a couple of minutes to leave the house, so I'm just showing y'all what I got, what I got. Edges were perfect, I loved them. It is a five by five closure, so five inches at the front, five inches going back. Once again, the hair is 12 inches. I feel like I'm giving Dora the Explorer. And it is from Soul Lady Hair. If you wanna see more from them, check out my description box below, as well as my entire Google Swig series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.